Hey, welcome back everyone, General Tourney here, coming back with a brand new COC episode and welcome to the Pyramid. So this is a brand new troll base which I made 24 hours ago and we are about to set a friendly challenge live inside of the clan to see if anyone's going to be able to take it on. So the rules are going to be very simple, every single one of my clan mates is going to have the opportunity to attack me and if they manage to take down the town hall, they are going to win a $25 gift card completely for free. Now there is only one rule when attacking this base you must use your entire army where the arrow is that is the only place you are allowed to spawn so it's called the pyramid for a reason you take this base apart layer by layer before you reach the top the top of the pyramid where the town hall the eagle artillery and of course the inferno towers and the heroes are sitting now there is also a hidden defending golem inside of the clan castle which no one really knows about so make sure you stay tuned. This is going to be one of the most action-packed episodes we have ever done on the channel. We're about to go live. So a very quick announcement just before we do get into the live action. I mentioned yesterday I will be turning 23 on the 30th of this month. And we are also going to be hitting maybe 650,000 subscribers around that date. So we are going to be giving away $250 just to say a massive thank you to you guys who constantly support my channel. Now if you want the chance to enter and have the possibility to win, all you need to do is leave a like on this episode just to show some support to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel right now to make sure you stay up to date with the giveaways and of course the videos. There is a link in the description box. Hit the link and you will be entered entered into the giveaway. Let's see if we can smash an all-time record on this video guys. 10,000 likes. That would be absolutely insane. So we are about to go live with the first challenge. Can you beat my village? Let's just switch it up to the home village. Don't forget to comment down below. Hashtag troll bases. Every single one of you go down below. Comment hashtag troll bases. It will take a few seconds of your time to let me know if you want more videos just like this. So if you want to see some more troll bases, Comment hashtag troll basis. Here we go, guys. Can you beat my village? First one is going in. Let's see if anyone is going to be able to take it on. Now, remember, they will win a $25 gift card. All they need to do is send in all of their troops from the bottom. Let's see if anyone's going to be able to take it on and take it down. Can anyone reach the town hall? This is going to be insane. So first attack coming in is going to be from Dalton. Now, there are nine spectators, nine people watching this battle. Here we go. He's about to get it off. There we go. Two golems going into the base already. They are going to make their way slowly up towards every single one of these defenses. And hopefully they can possibly make their way up towards the uh, the top of the pyramid where the town hall is sitting. So here we go. He's dropped in the first rage spell. Let's see which one of these clan mates is going to get the highest percentage points on the base. So the big bombs are going off, but I'm not going to lie. I think he's been ripped apart. Check out those expos. Those expos are absolute destroying his entire army. And he's still got some hog riders left. So he's up to 17% so far. The defending queen is actually, sorry, not the defending queen, the attacking queen is getting ripped apart by the cannon, the wizard towers, but here come the hog riders, the cavalry are coming in on that left hand side, he's dropped in the haste spell, he's got the heal spell there to make sure they stay alive a little while longer, he's up to 23% so far, but it doesn't look like he's going to make his way anywhere near the top of the pyramid, and it looks like the first attack is about to be over. So the defending golem is actually still up and alive. The eagle artillery has now awoken and is tearing those archers into pieces. So there go the archers. The golem KOs the final archer there just before the battle ends. 24% total damage. What a great start. So there we go, guys. We have just managed to send in the second challenge. Let's go in for the live attack to see who's going to be taking it on. So here we go. Oin is about to take on the base using two golems, 24 wizards, and a load of other troops. Going to be a very smart cookie and drop in one troop straight away to take out that giant big bomb there. And here we go. The rest of the units coming in right next to that Pekka statue. Let's see what his troop, what his army is going to be able to do to the pyramid. Is the pyramid going to stay undefeated? Is anyone even going to get 50% on the base so the eagle artillery has already woken up there goes the big bomb his troops are getting demoralized in front of every single one of those defenses check it out the cannons those level 13 cannons are ripping his heroes into pieces wow the entire army has just been completely destroyed and that is what i love about the pyramid base check out those cannons Followed by those eight archer towers backing them up, guys. Two of those brand new level 14 archer towers as well. And then, of course, the expos just behind. It looks like this base is going to be pretty damn hard to defeat. And I think the entire army has pretty much already been destroyed. So he's dropped in loads of wizards on the right-hand side there, but has given up 
14%. It looks like Dalton is still in the lead. So we're going in for challenge number three. Let's see who's going to be taking it on this time. Massive shout out to every single member of the clan. They absolutely love doing things like this. So Smithy is going to be using 16 giants and wizards. And of course a couple of Valkyries as well. And I think he's got some extra troops inside of his defending clan castle. Sorry, his, his, uh, his attacking clan castle. Check it out. So he's dropped in all of the giants very, very slowly. Going to be making his way up the center of the pyramid, of course. Sending in the Valkyries. I think some Valkyries just came out of the clan castle there. And then, of course, going in with the wizards just at the back. So the anti-aircraft guns, those expos have woken up and are drilling the giants one by one. Big Bomb is about to go off. He's still got his healers, which have just been taken out by the air defenses so damn early. And it looks like he's up to 19% so far. Can he take 20% before the rest of his army is destroyed? Has he got 20%? No! He just about clutches 22%. He's got his hero on the right-hand side. The king has decided to go around the base, but of course has been destroyed already. And there it is, guys. So it looks like so far Dalton and Smithy both landed on 24%. So we are going to up the winning here. We are going to give $100 to anyone who can take the town hall so anyone who takes the town hall will receive a $100 gift card let's see if anyone's gonna be able to take it on guys here we go challenge let's start this here it is let's see who's gonna come in for attack number four let's check it out guys in live is Dr. Kreds so I really don't like Kreds guys he's a bully he's a bully so if you've made it this far into the episode go down below into that comment section and comment hashtag actually don't even put a hashtag just put Dr. Kreds sucks just put Dr. Kreds Kratz sucks. I'm going to guess his percentage. I reckon I reckon he's going to get maybe 15% before we completely wreck his entire army. So he's already dropped in a heal spell really, really early. The EU artillery, I think, has already woken up. Is probably going to be doing a lot of damage to those golems. Wow. Wow. Check out those defenses, guys. Those defenses are tearing his entire army into pieces. The peck has actually made it pretty high up the hill, but she got stopped straight by that giant big bomb there. I'm not going to lie. He's done a lot more damage than I thought he was going to do. And it looks like he's actually uh, maybe going to get the highest percent so far. So he's done a lot better than I thought. Dr. Kreds up to 23% so far. The Queen's ability still got to be used. There it is up to 25. So Kreds has now taken the lead. And of course, going to do some more damage to some of these storages on the right hand side. So not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, quite surprising. Dr. Kreds, massive shout out to him. The Queen is going to get taken out though. The Eagle Artillery is about to unleash three massive bombs and should be taking down that girl very shortly. So there she goes. Oh, just missed the Eagle Artillery. So there it is, guys. That raid ends there. 28% is the percent to beat. So I believe this is attack number five about to come in. Let's see what the challenger is going to do. Here we go, Lewis. I've been waiting for Lewis. So Lewis is going to be using eight healers, a king. Oh, look at him. Look at him cheating. Look at him. Little cheating bugger. Wow. Wow. Look what he's done to the town hall. He has done some serious damage to that town hall. He's dropped every single one of his spells in it. Is anyone laughing? No. Nope. I think he was actually dreaming there when he thought he was going to take out the town hall using spells. But I'm not going to lie. I'm actually quite scared. But the king is down already. Check it out. The king is down. The healers. They have no hope. He's up to 10%. The bowl is still alive. The healers getting swished left and right by those air sweepers on the left and the right hand side there. I'm not going to lie. I think that was pretty perfect placement from me. So the healers completely wrecked. Lewis, you suck. Bad. So here we go. Here we go. Let's see who is going to be the next attacker. I'm waiting for Jasu to attack the space. He always does a very decent job. So 12 giants coming in from Connor. Connor is bringing the 12 giants. So let's see how many percentage points he's going to get. Can he get 1%? Can Connor get a single percent? Wow, look at his giants go. 0%. And the little, uh, the little skeletons leave the poison spell. And it looks like Connor. Connor's at a beatdown. Connor is in some serious trouble. So the pyramid is currently standing undefeated. Challenge number seven about to come in. Who is going to be taking it on this time? Is it going to be someone good? Nope, it's just Thorin. Thorin sucks, guys. May as well turn it off right now. I'm only joking. Keep keep watching. Stay tuned. The attack is, the attacks are only going to get better and better. So he's actually going to be using earthquake spells. Why did he just drop four earthquake spells? You don't even need earthquake spells in this base. It's a pyramid. There is a clear path to the top. Thorin, what is wrong with you, T? So he's going to be dropping in the actual golem from the P.E.K.K.A. guys. Here we go, making their way up the Valley of Death. This is pretty much a Valley of Death where they just get tortured and destroyed. Just watch these defenses, guys. Look how awesome this is. Wait for the Expos to turn on. Just wait for it. Watch, check it out. Is, is the Expos even going to turn on or is Thorin just completely sucked? 
It doesn't even look like the Expos are going to turn on inside of this red. Thorin has been ripped apart, and it looks like the Expos are going to stay dormant. The Archer Towers, I don't think, have even fired a single shot either. He's got something here. I think that was maybe a couple of uh, Hog Riders over there. But it looks like the army's been destroyed. He's got a Rage Spell. He's dropped the Rage Spell on nothing. The, uh, the army's dead already. He's got one Wizard left, which is about to die. And I think that is the entire army wrecked. Yes, it is. So 15%. Not bad. Challenge number eight. No one has taken the one star on this base. I would love to see if I could one star my own base. I honestly would love to see that. I wish uh, maybe I'll get maybe Jasu or someone, someone with a Town Hall 11 base to make this base and maybe see if I can uh, possibly reach the Town Hall. I think there's a possibility I would be using a Mass Bowler attack strategy, but I reckon I could maybe get past the, uh, I would at least get past the Expos, I reckon, to the Inferno Towers, but you've got to play it smart. You've definitely got to play it smart. So he's going to be using, the Inferno boss is coming in now, using Giants, Golems, Peckers, and Wizards. Let's see if the Expos have turned on. Yes, they have. Just look at the destruction of the Fences, it's like D-Day all over again, guys. This part down here is basically the beach. The troops are trying to make their way up to the top of the beach, but it's just not happening. And now here comes the defending Hog Rider to give those golems a couple of slaps. And it looks like he's actually... Oh, look at that. Hog Rider beat him down. The Hog Rider gave him a great beat down there. Going for the uh, the little barbarian there as well. Go on, Hog Rider. Go on, take out that wizard as well. Is the Hog Rider going to kill the wizard? Nope, just misses him. Can he take out the final wizard? Nope. Hog Rider, you suck. So Inferno Boss done a decent job though considering his troop levels got 18% on the base but still no one has even managed to surpass 30% so maybe we're going to do one more challenge and then if no one manages to beat it we may actually remove our defending clan castle just to make it a little bit easier because I'm not going to lie it does seem to be a, a little bit too hard right now so hopefully we see some higher level attacks. Here we go the first air attack well it's got uh, some balloons inside of it so it's going to be decent going to be very interesting to see if he realizes that there are two air sweepers on both sides of the base there because if he just drops the balloons in there is no hope there is no hope for those balloons so the hog riders are in the center there they've dropped down the hill spell hog riders going to stay alive but of course those big bombs going off very very quickly here comes the defending hog rider to take out his arch nemesis hog riders the balloons have been sent in but he hasn't realized that there are so many air bombs and air mines around the balloons destroyed in seconds one balloon left that's about to go down and it looks like the entire army has been just destroyed. There's no other way to put it. But he did get 26%, which is one of the highest so far. So please do not forget, if you do want to see more episodes like this, then comment hashtag trollbases in that comment section down below. Connor is about to come in for a second attack. Connor, that's cheeky. You're only allowed one attack each, Connor. Not being cheeky, are you, Connor? So yeah, one attack each when doing these bases, guys. Let me know if you have any base ideas. As an example, this is called the Pyramid. The last one I done was called the Swirl, and it was basically like a Swirl Troll Base. If you have any awesome ideas, please feel free to email them to me. If you want, uh, if you actually want to make some bases, guys, and you want me to use your Troll Base, then feel free to make the base design, take a screenshot, and email that to me to my, uh, my email address. That will be in the description box down below also. So hopefully it's going to be a brand new attack from someone else. Is Jasu going to be attacking very shortly? Here we go. Let's go in for the live attack to see who's going to be taking it on. Mr. Alex Who? He's going to be using some golems, some peckers, some wizards. Interesting, interesting. Obviously, he's going to be attacking from the bottom of the base, guys, making his way up the pyramid. The Larrys have already woken up. There are some peckers that have been dropped into the base there. They have decided to go straight for the black hole into the center. Here comes the defending clan castle also. Now, obviously, straight away, those two wizard towers do a just an enormous amount of damage to the weaker units inside of the base. Big bombs are going off. I don't know how that one even triggered there. How did that even trigger? No troop went up there. That's pretty weird. That just randomly triggered. So the, uh, the rest of the army seems to have been crucified. And it looks like there is no hope for Mr. Alex. Unfortunately, he does have two peckers left. But they're going to go down very quickly considering the levels of those cannons. Here comes the defending golem and the hog rider. Let's stay on this hog rider, guys. He's going to bash Harry straight on the head. Take Harry out. He's also going to bash Elizabeth and all of the other troops. And there goes the pecker. And it is RIP to the entire army. So we're going to start to do some of the final challenges now. We're going to get into the last maybe two or three challenges. And then we will leave the episode for now. So Banjanak is about to attack us using mass bowlers. This is what we were waiting for. Let's see what he will be able to do using this very, very uh, powerful army, to be honest with you. So he's going to be dropping in a bowler walk on the left-hand side and on the right-hand side. 
Almost takes out that wizard tower there. It was very close. Almost takes out the cannon as well. Maybe he didn't drop enough of those bowlers in to take out the second line of defenses. Now, he's already triggered the big bomb in the center, and it looks like, I'm not going to lie, he could do a very decent job here. Remember, if he manages to make it all the way to the top and take out that town hall, he will receive a $100 gift card. He's dropped down the free spell on the archer towers. Maybe, uh, maybe a little bit too late there. He's got the bowlers. It was a very good start. He's up to 37%, but his bowlers spread a little bit too wide. Didn't really configure together into the center and ended up just losing him the raid, guys. Got a great percentage point, though. He got 42% so far. Still got quite a few bowlers left up and alive. Can he get the first one star on the base? So 43% the bowlers are about to make their way up to the center finally through the pyramid. But of course, he has decided to end it there. 45% massive shout out to Ban. Got the highest attack percentage so far. So here we go, it is now Jess who's turn to take on and attack the base and he's going to be using Hog Riders, 32 maxed out Hog Riders. I've got a feeling Jess who is going to do a very good job on this base, but let's see how many percentage points he can grab. So there are 10 spectators inside of this right now. There goes the healers, there goes the queen. She is going to be taken out pretty quickly. I don't know if he done the right thing there, dropping the queen straight into the center. But there goes the attacking golem from the clan castle. The wizard's obviously going to do a lot of damage. Sorry, the wizard towers going to do a lot of damage to that golem. Wow. Golem's been destroyed, but here come the Hog Riders. This is what Jasu's attack is all about. It is all about those Hog Riders. He doesn't have a single Rage spell, though. Could find himself in a little bit of trouble, but it looks like the Hog Riders making their way up here. Wow, Jasu's got a very good strategy on his hands, but it's all about these Inferno Towers now. Can the Inferno Towers completely destroy Jasu's army? Jasu has made it so high up, but his army's just been fried. I think it was the Inferno Towers, guys done an amazing job there i'm not gonna lie i was getting a little bit wary it looked like he was closing in on that town hall check out the damage he done to the base that's pretty damn insane but the raid is going to end there and of course 22 percent so here we go the second last attack there will be one more attack just after this one it's going to be i'm try hard logan coming in with some giants some wizards and of course the king is just going to be for fun guys i doubt he's going to surpass those cannons there alone letting uh, getting up to the archer towers or the expos his giants wow that was one of the quickest ones so far. Zero percent. His giants like kind of melted. I don't even know what done that. I think it must have been the wizard towers just completely wrecked the giants there. The king's still up and alive. Look how slow the king's going down though. When the rest of the defenses aren't in range, these kings do last for a very long time. But there he goes. And it is going to be the final attack. So there it is, guys. We are going to end the episode here. Please do not forget to leave a like if you have enjoyed this episode. Can we hit 10,000 likes? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of the giveaways and, of course, the content. Let me know down below if you do want to see some more troll bases. I will see you very shortly. Have an amazing day, guys. Peace out.